Hello, welcome to Trick Transform. In our last video, we we saw uh, in two parts uh, what are the different uh, uh, data frame uh, basics. In this video, we are going to perform what are the data uh, frame basic operations are. We are going to see a couple of uh, basic operations. So let's switch back to uh, Databricks Community Edition. Here I am going to uh, this is my last uh, uh, notebook file. Here I am going to create a new notebook file <coughs> I am going to name it as a PySpark DF operation ok I am going to choose default language as a Python cluster I have already created PySpark fine guys so this is what you have created before that I want to uh, show you the data set which we are going to use today for our uh, uh, hands on <laughs> So this is Apple stock data where it is uh, it's a comma separated file and uh, the first row is header and the, f the the columns are here date open means these these are related to data related to Apple stock so what is the open what is the high opening low close volume uh, adds on close uh, these are the data uh, is available and we are going to uh, play with this data and we are going to perform certain operations uh, after loading uh, this CSV file into Spark data frame. So let's get started. The very first step, what we have to do, we have we have created our notebook. So I'm going to do everything from scratch in this uh, part. So let's uh, the very first thing, what we have to do, we have to import from PySpark dot SQL import a Spark session. So we are going to import a Spark session. Now we are going to create variable out of this spark is equal to spark session dot builder dot app name. We are going to give some app name. Let's uh, give the same uh, app name like uh, df operation. Then dot get or see the capitalization here, guys get or create okay so we are going to get that uh, uh, spark so now we have a spark all uh, uh, spark session we have now the next step is what we are going to do we are going to load this data this this uh, this data this data file is in my local I have already uploaded to the uh, uploaded to uh, Databricks uh, uh, data platform where all the data lives and we are going to try to access that data which I have already uploaded for that what we have to do let's say I want to convert it to df so df is equal to spark dot read dot csv we are going to choose here because our file pa file is csv we are going to f uh, give the file path here so here uh, the file path uh, is different file store hyphen tables then our file name our file name is uh, apple underscore stock dot csv score stock dot csv okay then what we are going to pass couple of more parameters we are going to tell okay uh, whatever uh, header you are going to see the first row is header so we are going to see we are going to see uh, tell also spark to inf inform a schema automatically so what is the data type it had it will be automatically infer the schema <coughs> we are uh, setting this to true also now quickly run this and see whether we are getting getting that uh, data frame or not our, our file uh, our path whatever we have mentioned here according to databricks uh, uh, file uh, nomenclature it is correct or not let me run it shift enter no part does not exist so this path let me uh, copy the path from the last file store tables file store tables file store okay, so t is small okay i think this is the one mistake a double p l underscore stock dot c s v okay fine let me read and again shift enter we got uh, as a data frame let's uh, quickly so 
So what are the print? Let me print the schema of this. Sorry, it's a print schema. <coughs> okay. So uh, successfully we uh, load the CSV data, Apple underscore stock CSV data into our data frame, and we are able to see in front right now what is the uh, print schema is showing what are the data type and what are the columns available so we already saw these are the columns uh, are available date open high low vol uh, close volume ADZ close so you can see uh, by default we have set it that uh, the first uh, first row treat it as a header treat it as a column don't treat it as a data and in front schema too so by default uh, PySpark uh, infer all these schema based upon the values associated here okay so in this uh, part what we are going to see we are going to see how we can actually apply filter on this data so if we want to see the data what we do df dot so okay we are going to see all this data so we have this data df dot so but let's say I have to apply some filter on this. So we are not going to do uh, on a Spark SQL way. Uh, we are going to do on a PySpark way. For that, what we have to do? DF dot filter. Okay. DF dot filter. Then here we can pass the condition. Let's say I want to filter on this uh, closing close column. So what I want to filter? I want to filter all the records which has uh, close less than 200. I can simply write like this close less than let's say 500 okay then I want to select column out of it first time applying filter then I'm, I'm selecting so let's say I want to select uh, uh, this close again okay then finally to get the result we have to apply so what happened oh sorry okay so there's small mistake so condition every condition it's side inside a code okay so whatever condition you're going, going to write you, you should write inside a code so close less than 500 okay df dot filter okay so it is smallest so we got the result see what we uh, what we do we apply filter on close column uh, where uh, we are trying to find out the close uh, column which is having value less than 500 and we are going to uh, select select we are selecting that column again so we applied the filter let's say I want to choose one one more column so for that what we can do we can pass our array of <coughs> list of items so let's say I want to see <coughs> day, uh, date and open column we can pass it as a items okay we can check that cool we saw uh, these two columns now let's say I want to uh, check uh, I, I want to give some complex uh, filter here let's say I want to I want to check uh, my closing value should be less than 500 but my open value should be uh, greater than 500 so what we can do just copy I'm again copying it what we are going to do we are going to and like Python uh, if we want to apply uh, condition like and we have we, we can use and but here uh, uh, deliberately I'm writing here and and I want to show you what the mistakes uh, we can do and then uh, then I will tell you how to uh, remove that particular error then you are able to understand so here what was uh, we were trying to achieve less than close close would be less than 500 and opens would be greater than 500 okay open okay so it worked so sometimes it didn't work also 
uh, yeah it worked but I want to show you not in that way let's say I want to filter the record instead of specifying this inside uh, we can directly use column object also let's say dr in my last video we already saw how to access column object for every column so dr close okay greater than 500 and dr open less than 500 okay so let me like this less than 500 close would be less than 500 and opens would be greater than 500 we want to f we want to see these records so what we are going to do we are going to uh, select we can select uh, let's select multiple column we can select date we can select open we can select close we can select okay these are the columns we can select I'm just choosing four columns here out of uh, out of six columns then finally dot so here we are going to get error, not this error sorry df see it, it started giving the value that's what uh, in last time I, I told you I want to show you that error so it is telling if you're if you're trying to pass like this column object so it is trying to say you if you're passing cannot convert column into bool please use ampersand for and pipe for or so if you want to use and you cannot directly use like that you can you have to choose like ampersand for and so this is the first thing again this will give you an error I will show you what we should do again this got very long pi foot z error but basically what it is trying to say whatever you are trying to do just do it in a parenthesis separate it with a parenthesis so whatever the operator and operand is you have to give parenthesis now this will work we got that result we got we applied filter where we uh, filtered close would be less than 500 and open would be greater than 500 and we selected these columns so these are the f uh, one thing I wanted to show you here let's say I want to collect this this is the so every time we are doing in our practice session is we, every time we are doing so to just print the result in the console but let's say I want to play with this result how to do that this so will not work in that case what we have to do we have to let me copy this I want to let's say I want to put it in a variable result is equal to instead of so you have to do collect collect will give you the results and it is going to put inside the result variable so further we can play with this data okay now we have result the type of result is let's say I want to so it's a list basically it's a list of row so so see the row object so every whatever data you are seeing uh, one two three four all are row if you want to see you can see like this result you can see every data inside this particular data frame became a row object each row object let's say I want to access first row first row item it's a list of uh, row uh, row items now I want to access first item for that result zero okay we got the very first row data Now uh, what we can do here, let's say I want to, uh, 
this uh, this the what is the type of this so type is a uh, pyspark dot sql dot types dot row what we can do with these results we can actually have let's say I want to make it like row is equal to result zero okay this row object allowed couple of method let me show you first okay row dot here we got row as dict row as count index so these three uh, methods uh, it is providing row object what we are going to do we are going to use row dot as dict what it is going to finally it is going to convert the first row data into a dictionary okay as dict see we find we got this result here we were able to see this result see we got this row object from or, or from this row object we got finally dictionary now let's say I want to access this close value so what I'm going to do add as dict up to this this thing is dictionary then to access the element from dictionary what we have to we have to specify the key name the key name let's say I'm providing a close we are going to get the value right we are able to see the value close we can get it for volume also cool so we saw a couple of operations basically we started with uh, starting from the scratch we created our spark session we loaded the data into csv file we saw what is the print schema how we can filter the records using a normal uh, passing the condition inside that quotation or else also we can using the column object and we can pass couple of and operator and different different operations we can perform and finally how we can collect the data and we can put it inside a variable and we can play with those data and how we can access column row object how we can convert row object from a data frame to as a dictionary and how we can get value out of it so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye